Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you're welcome. And if you already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. So into this video, I'm going to be showing you how I achieve this hair in this video. So if you want to see and know how I achieve it, please keep watching. So first thing first, I'm going to first, first show you guys what you will need for this hairstyle. You will need some afro kinking hair. So you will also need a rubber band, a crochet hook, a rat take home and uh, some hair gel to lay down your edges. So right now I'm starting with a freshly washed and detangled hair and I've already applied my hair uh, products off camera, hair cream and oil, I've already done that off camera. So right now I'm starting by sectioning off the first uh, session on the back, so after that I'm going to go ahead and re-separate and re -separate that section into three. So on the back section right here is going to be three jumbo twists. So right now I've applied my gel, I'm going to go ahead and grab the rubber band and wrap it around the roots of the hair. So next I'm taking the hair, I'm going to divide it into two, so first I'm going to first of all go ahead with one piece of the hair and then go back in with the second one because the uh, crochet hook is not that big to pass the whole hair through and plus it's easier that way if you separate it into two and uh, work with one piece at a time. So right now I'm just uh, going ahead to do the crochet method, I uh, hook the hair, close the crochet hook, so right now I'm only going to pull half of the hair through the, um, through the rubber band just like that so after that i'm gonna go ahead and uh, adjust the length before going ahead to uh, add in the second piece of hair So now that that is done to do the two stand twist, I'm going ahead to twist my own natural hair with half of the hair on this side as you can see. I'm twisting it together before going ahead to do the uh, so this helped to tuck in my natural hair in between the uh, the afro kinky hair. So right now I'm going ahead to do the two stand twist. So I'm just going to twist it all the way to the tip of the uh, of the hair. So I'm done with the first session on the back. So on this next session right here, it started. I make the session to start from the front. So it starts from the front and all the way from one side to the other side of the front. That kind of give you the uh, the U shape uh, pattern. And uh, also on this clip, I'm going to be showing you what to do if the hair is too tight on the roots. So I'm just gonna uh, show you how to reduce the tension on the roots of the hair. So right here I'm doing the same thing, working with one piece of uh, hair at a time. So and also the color of this hair, for the highlighted color, I have the um, color 27 and also color 350. So the color 350, those, the red color right here, I cut the, I cut the, um, the hair myself. So you can do your own uh, DIY cuts just to add to, to the hair and to give you the highlighted color you want for the hair. So for the highlighted color, I didn't miss the um, the uh, color 27 with the black. I just wanted this color 27 to stand out on its own. And you can mix the three colors together if you prefer that, or you can just prefer to go with just uh, plain black. And also for this hair, I used uh, two packs of the um, color one. 
and came down four pieces of the uh, color 27. So the color 27, that's the what's left on my, I did a crochet bra, crochet wig. I used the uh, color 27 for a crochet wig. So that was the uh, four colors, four pieces of the color 27 was what's left from the, uh, the hair. So right here, this is what I was telling you guys about. If the hair is too tight on the roots, you want to pull both pieces of hair together and then twist it the opposite way just like I'm doing in this video. And then after that, you want to go ahead and continue to do the twist. And if you feel like it's still a little bit too tight on the root, as you twist along, you want to repeat the same thing, hold them together and twist it the opposite way. And then continue to uh, twist it all the way to the ground, the tip of the hair. So that will reduce that will reduce the tension on the roots of the hair. So right here, I'm just showing you guys a lot of something. So whenever you're doing your boss braid or twist, you want to make sure the next hair on top falls in between the line on the bottom. That will help to close out the gap you have in between the uh, the hair. So right now, I'm going ahead to work on the front section. Also, I'm doing the same thing. So uh, just session up that hair on the front so then so I've already applied the gel off camera right now I'm going ahead to wrap the rubber band around the roots of the hair and after that I'm going in with the hair and uh, doing the same thing past uh, working with one piece of hair at a time and then just pull half of the hair through the loop loop rubber band and adjust the length making sure they are both uh, the same length so right now I'm going in with the second one doing the same thing pull half of the hair through and then after that I'm gonna go ahead and twist my own natural hair uh, together with the um, I'm gonna twist my natural hair with half of the afro kinky hair just like that I think this clip you can actually see what I'm doing because of the uh, the hair color is lighter than my own natural hair so I just want to continue doing the same thing twist it all the way to the tip and if the tension is or if the, the root of the hair is super tight you want to do the same thing I showed you earlier in the on the uh, previous clip you want to pull both hairs together and twist it you know, towards the opposite way and then come back and continue to do the two-stand twist. That will help to reduce the uh, tension from the root. So this is the finished result of the twist before going ahead to add the beads on the tip of the hair. So before adding the beads, I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab my scissors and cut off the ends, the uh, tiny ends of the hair. Here is the finished result of this hairstyle. I love the hairstyle and I also hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.